Welcome back guys to another lovely episode of My Rise Undisputed. Well, we already saw last it was Gunther. After beating Gunther, it's like a war game mode. So let's see what else do we have in allies. We got these guys. Oh, we got Bobby. And these two. Let's just see what social media has to offer. Wow, Bobby Lashley. Hey, just wanted to call out your interest on possible joining Team Smackdown. I'm interested after all. I've got plenty of experience in fighting Cage. Okay, maybe this is your chance. Maybe, but being a high level athlete that I am, I'm just to jump into anything, especially big fat without preparation. So, you want to train for war game? Exactly. Okay, so let's see what it helps me with. Trainee day, trainee. So, a new day with new opponents. Oh, that was nice. Oh, with the Creed brothers. Whoa, what a move. Like we both are handing them like trash. No, oh, he didn't give me a chance to realize. But no, brother, you mess with the wrong guy. suplex that I didn't expect it You asked for it. Something you should have not planned. You got it. Oh, what a move! What? Oh, what a reversal! Lastly, with this move, wow, butterfly suplex. 
another one and a lovely face buster oh reversal So we won. Not bad. I was not expecting. I was just waiting for my finisher <laughs> and Bobby Lashley will. Well, that's nice. Bobby Lashley is also a good option. What do we have? Some more? Time for Trevor Tuesday. Which superstar? First of all, SmackDowns has pretty much done everything in WWE. Expect computer war game. Any guesses? Beast, Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, guess Mark for an hope, John Cena. Sorry, Tastic. Let me add some more in. They will attack you out of nowhere. They hear voices in the head. I'll play along. It is me. <laughs> Bingo, and you have our attention, Randy Orton. How about crossing off war game from WWE bucket list? Speaking of my bucket list, there's only one thing I haven't crossed off winning their head. <laughs> so how about putting on the time? Then we'll talk. Cool. I give you, my friend. Oof, what are we doing, beast? Relax, I got this. I hear voices in my head and it's Randy Orton. Be fun now, Randy Orton also joins. Finn, I don't know why they selected Finn, because I should have been given more option. Oh, I can change Finn. If he is threat for me, he's gonna be threat for Raw as well. He must be aware of when he faced the Undertaker. The last ride. The champion with plans of driving their opponent to the earth. Whoa, a butterfly suplex. And now he's on the downside. Yeah, he's being faced with a lot of adversity. Oh, a reversal by Randy. Randy will be happy, but no, that happiness is only for a while. Orton gets the better there. 
What a move. Oh, Randy Orton trying to finish off the match. A reversal. Randy Orton trying to take a breather. He's gone, called out. A thunderous blue thunder. Randy, sorry. Even I can't believe it. gonna be lovely move by him <laughs> trying to finish it off Worth it. A lovely match. So, the scenario is opening day by day. I can start to select Kevin Owens and Randy and move on, but I need to see more what we get. Steve Austin, sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Who's 
story. I was there. That's right. Eric Bischoff as a C team announcer. Yep, a few years before. Keep pushing Austin. <laughs> it's now Steve Austin. I cannot imagine it's we have Steve Austin in our time. Okay, we can. Oof, the screen. Oh, I can say it. The, the scenario is opening day by day. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I hope Stone Cold Steve Austin is playing time. If the champ can stun Eric Bischoff, Stone Cold Steve Austin will have no choice but to eat his words and join Team SmackDown for War Games. Not a single one you just said makes any sense in the year 2024, but I am here for it. Yeah, but we need to give him a stunner. Keep attacking Bishop until you finish your meet. Press R2 next to perform a stone cold stun. And number three. Gonna see something what he's never saw. No oh, reversal. Reversal. Didn't expect that from Bishop. A kick. He 
even Bischoff can't believe it and so can't I Punch, but no, this time Back to back counter. Cobra Clutch Instead of one more Two back to back stunners. So he acted like Steve Austin and got Austin also unlocked. Wow, the allies what I have are interesting. What do we have on social media? Well, poof. Hall of Famer who gave it the best. Becky Lynch. <laughs> Oh my god. It was nice to interview to all SCSA. Okay, oh hell yeah. Wow. So what do we have? Okay. So what do I have bad bunny now? Hey buddy. <laughs> I didn't expect it bad bunny to join war games Campion has been fire thanks I know I have to attack Miz now. Oh god. This is gonna be something interesting. Miz looks like he has a lot in his mind headed into Survivor Series. Look out! From behind! Is that a giant bunny? What the hell? We've seen some strange things in WWE over the years, but a bunny beating up a GM. <laughs> what did Miz do to deserve this? <laughs> this is fun. Acting like bunny. Right in the 
Bowser. This doesn't look stable enough to be fighting on. He steers clear of contact. Oh, a reversal. Now oh, he's gonna hit the bunny, but Bunny is running up. I know whose bunny is, but it's fun. Bunny just did something what Bad Bunny couldn't see. Long way down. Standing on production boxes and shipping crates, willing to fight anywhere and everywhere. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Miz escapes damage. And we are looking at some true close quarters combat here on this dock. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Outside, Such an underhanded tactic there. These road cases are not very forgiving. On the outside! That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Oh, it was.
is in the mood now to do something. Is it the end of the miss? It is. So does the the bad bunny gets a message, and is he happy after seeing this? Let's see. It's interesting. So does the bad bunny is also unlocked? Okay. So I can see the allies. I've got. So these are the last few. So maybe I select one as Randy Orton. The other one is Kevin Owens and. Can I select Steve Austin? No, this is all done. So the attribute points I get. Why don't I even play these matches so that I can get more 20 attribute points? This could be fun. Bleed blue. Like an Indian team, be blue. Well, I know I've already selected the stars, but I'm just going to play with these two to get some more attribute points. It's a tag team match. Some great tag team action in store as the Viking Raiders take on what reports say could be the first of the SmackDown Survivor Series team. Austin Theory is a talented guy, and if he really wants to contribute to Team SmackDown, and not just Team Theory, he would be great to have in World Games. Well, Theory isn't just a talented athlete, he's smart. He knows that if SmackDown is doing well, he's doing well. Get him into the corner. There's the tag. A uh, tag made. Well, he has nice moves. Should not be underestimating him. A DDT. Oh, 
He was not expecting that, but he's gonna get some. Matching off in style. Just lifting him like a crap. The champ needs to do something for it. He's a bit pissed off it, just punching him. Finishing off. That was an easy victory, but worth it. Trying to finish off this match quick so that. Yeah, you guys can talk what you want to now, Mrs. <laughs> it's Logan Paul. Let's see. Whom do we face? That's the big question. The team off. Is it New Day? <laughs> I don't know whom I'm facing. It's all everyone coming one after the other. Oh, what an electric chair move. Like working as a team.
Oh, what a move. Finn Balor is all charged up. Seamus was not ready for this, but now he is. Finishing off in style. No, Sheamus will not be happy with this. Logan Paul have like a springboard from cloth line from hell slingshot slingshot is what signature okay Just pumping up. But he jumps, right? Well, that was something not expected. is like full on mood <laughs> the this can't be good. 
Oh, back to back moves. Seamus should have not come inside. Seamus. Beast is all charged up when they can't do it. The beast is gonna finish it off style. It's all beast. The beast. You can talk whatsoever you need. But I know now. What do I have in DMs? Not sure, but more importantly, I thought you looked great out there. Ultimately, it's too strong. So the allies are. I want to take Austin, but. Maybe this is what we need because Cody for me is fine. Finn with AJ and Randy and Kevin versus the team, tag team. So all look good. Finishing off the attribute style what I have. One and two. So now. Thierry. 
here to spy? Troy. No. I'm Actually, here. I Excellent. Have. Ready to lock them in? Once you... I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. So, we have confirmed story. So... Does this start the match? Whoa! Well, that's nice. Didn't expect it that, but yeah. So the story continues. So we are on the raw. Gentlemen, save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wouldn't see the fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. No. That's enough. There it is. Whoa. SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. You think? William Regal has been a mentor to the so called Dark Horse, invading Raw as a slap in the face, and now he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend. Accidental or not. Well, for now, it looks like Team SmackDown is going to retreat. This didn't break into an all-out war, but they delivered a strong message here tonight. I agree, Corey. We didn't know who would represent the Blue Brand Survivor Series, and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage. I can't wait. You and I can't. What happened was awesome to be seen, but didn't expect William Regal to get that punch. So we have a match. 